Angela, how are you? Yes, I'm very well, thank you. Very well indeed. Not in the usual space. Again, we've had a few videos that aren't in my chambre. But I am in a different bedroom. Um, and that's because I am in... Paris! Yes, it's Paris. And we've got some Parisian sun coming in as I'm coming off the bed. My friend Haley doesn't want to be in this video. This is who I'm with. She's over there. Uh, she is smiling, laughing, nodding, um, and having a large champagne. Uh, just to sort of ease her day. I mean, she's not, but I'm just saying that to make it sound far more glamorous than it is. So I'm having a bit of a juju weekend, uh, which I could have thought was the perfect opportunity to do a what to pack for a city break video. I got the Eurostar, first time ever, from London to Paris today. Um, and this is my outfit, let me show you. It's very travel chic. I'm feeling a bit Parisian. I've covered the hair because the hair is kind of like. Yeah, a bit dodge. My starter snapback cap, which I am loving to stick with my sort of leather look with the black. Um, and when travelling, guys, I just want to be a bit comfortable. I don't want to be fanning around my hair. Boohoo sweatshirt, you saw this in one of my hauls. £12, super bargain. I've got my cheap Monday skinnies with the knee out. Ooh. And I'm going to try and do some sort of thing on the bed here so you can see my Dr. Martens. There! And you saw these in my Get Ready With Me Geneva, uh, whizzing around the world as I say. And a white sock, guys, which I am into at the moment. Uh, my mum would kill me if she knew I was wearing white socks, so hopefully she's not watching this video. And I've got my trusty leather jacket, which is by Indigo and Maine from Urban Outfitters. A leather you can't go wrong with, I think. You just sort of chuck it on and hope for the best. So there we go. What's in the suitcase? What's in the suitcase? Um, so this is my suitcase, this is a Samsonite, um, and what is really good about this suitcase is that it is super light, so especially if you're doing hand luggage or if you're going on a plane, then you know you can't take too much and it can't be really heavy. It's in two compartments, I'm going to open. Do, 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 do. In one, all my toiletries, I've also got my pyjamas, I've got my socks and my pants. In the other are some of my clothing. So, I have minimised my toilet bag and my grooming products, guys you know I go pretty heavy on the old grooming. Um, so I've got Fudge Urban Mousse, which is one of my favourites, and this is Iced Raspberry and Vanilla. I was going to call it just Raspberry and Vanilla, but it's Iced Raspberry, and it smells ep to the pick. A classic, well a silver king classic, it's going to keep my hair in place. A toilet bag, which is from the Sanctum Hotel range. What's in here? Lots. Toothpaste, Colgate, Max White, I love this. Purifrox toothbrush, which you saw from the Geneva video, Wilkinson Sword Hydro Shaver, which has got the little battery in it. Ooh, ooh. I've got some shaving gel, and this is by a company called Trevarno, um, and it's an organic company, and they make all this stuff. I'm trying to find this stuff. They make all this stuff in Cornwall. Cornwall. The shave balm, so it's like a soap, really. So instead of having a shave gel or a shave foam, it's just in this amazing little bar, and it smells so good. Um, and then I've got the same aftershave oil by Trevano. Again, smells pretty amazing. A moisturizer again by Trevano. And what's really good about these is they are in this travel size. And the moisturizer, I put a bit on it this morning actually. And my cheek now is super, super smooth. Mmm, yeah. It's quite creamy, isn't it? What was thought earlier? You preferred the balm. Um, I like how Haley's giving a bit of commentary. It's like director's cut behind this camera. We're gonna get her in this video at some point. What she doesn't know is I tricked her earlier, and she actually is in it. <laughs> contact lens cleaner, you don't care about this. I've got contact lenses in now, meh. Shampoo, it's Aussie and it's Miracle Moist. So I do often find that when I'm traveling, uh, different atmospheres, my hair does get a bit dry, and it's perfect little travel bottle again. Contact lens, case, Mitchum, not a very sexy brand, but I do like Mitchum deodorant. Uh, 24 slash 48 hour protection. So if you're rushing around a Paris, hopping on and off the metro, could be a shout for you. Kiehl's Isla, again you saw that in that Geneva video I did, because quite often when traveling, I can look a bit rough, because generally, a few too many gins or red wines are consumed, and just general late nights. Glam Glow Masks, so I've got two here. I've got one which is the Dual Cleanse. Yeah, this is the Dual Cleanse one. Then I've got a hydrating one here. Again, because I find that my skin might get a bit more dry. A comb, guys, because you know I want to comb the hair and probably do some sort of side parting, slick back pump. You know all the videos I do. Cotton buds, because you're not supposed to stick them in your ears, guys. But let's get frank, you do, don't you? I don't want dirty ears. So I do put these in my ears, don't do it, and if you do get it caught in your ear, it wasn't my fault. An EOS, Honeysuckle Honeydew, uh, Lip Balm, a fan of. Tweezers, because no one likes a Parisian monobrow. Clinique Happy, and this amazing little atomizer. Again, I'll find little links and I'll share them with you. 
Um, and then I've got my sort of miniature hair products. Uh, so any hair brand basically that does miniatures is a hair brand for me. Um, because I have my sort of day to day uh, toilet bag which I take around quite a lot of places because you don't want to be caught short. Uh, and I take it to the gym too. And the little miniatures are perfect for me. So I've got, um, what do I have here? I've got Hans de Fuqua ones. I've got the Claymation which I've obviously done the video on. And then I've also got the Modified Pomade. So it's two sort of different looks. One of my faves in here which is the Fudge Matte Head Paste. You know I sort of use it to sort of add a bit more definition when I'm doing the quiff. And then I've got Fish Shape Cream. You you know, I've done stuff with fish before, and again, in a super cute little tub. Okay, so that's the toilet bag. Carbon Klein, jogging, jogging bottoms? They're not jogging bottoms, they're pajama bottoms. Oh, I forgot about this. Batiste dry shampoo, bit of volume. Zhuzh it up a bit, especially if you don't want to wash your hair too much. Um, clean and volumize. All my pants and socks, which I'm not going to show you guys, because some things should be kept quite sacred. Uh, I say that, but actually it's because I had a wash day before and the pants and socks that I've got are probably not the ones I would normally go for, but no one's going to see them, he says. Top man, um, oversized sweater, very, very, very creased, um, and I like this because it can go on top of various things and you get a bit of colour popping through, or if you want to go for black and grey and just keep it a little bit monochrome, then you can guys, no one's saying you can't. A white t-shirt, a classic for any sort of travel, I think. Keep things basic, keep things simple, especially if you don't have that many plans or you don't know what you're going to be doing. So just keep it as things that you can just pick up and chuck on. White t-shirt, boohoo. A grey t-shirt, a ribbed t-shirt, very 90s. Uh, I've got my Marks and Spencers, guys. Again, I've said about this. Marks and Spencers have got some good basics. And uh, Marks and Spencers, check shirt. Do you like that? It's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But when I was at home in February, I found out that my dad has got the same shirt as me. That's because it is Marks and Spencers. But do you know what? Good on my dad. Obviously, upping his game. Um, so I like this Harbour Island, Marks and Spencers. This is a velour t shirt. Yeah, she's not sure. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Velour t shirt. It looks like grey from here, though. Yeah, it's velour. <laughs> <laughs> Oversized velour t shirt. Uh, black, sticking with that Parisian vibe, guys. Uh, I've got my Alessi t-shirt because I'm going to be going 90s, yeah. Alessi t-shirt, I've got in top man. Do, 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 do. I know I've already got the leather but I brought a bomber because I thought it's quite warm here. It's supposed to be like 16 to 18 degrees in Paris which is pretty good. I'm already sort of roasting and I've probably got a sweaty lip which is probably really attractive for you to watch. And no doubt all of you will comment, you have a sweaty lip Robin. I know. Um, so I've got this bomber jacket, it's got, do you like this? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? This is Reclaim Vintage uh, through ASOS. I got this, um, when did I get this? I got this last September, so really when it was getting a bit colder. And that is one of my top tips. Buy stuff in a sale and then don't wear it, and then take it out again. Not many people will have it. Um, and you can be then seasonal. So I've also got my other cheap Monday jeans, blue denim, and I've got a pair of Boohoo jeans, um, and I really like the cut of Boohoo jeans, actually. Uh, the skinny fit ones work really well on me, and they've got a slight stretch to them, so it means that they do hug your body, but they don't feel too super tight. And these ones are really light wash denim. And then finally, in my case, I've got the one pair of shoes, obviously. But no one can go somewhere with just one pair of shoes, can they? I have got my Converse All-Star Chuck Taylors. These are a classic. It can be worn generally with anything. Tuck a pair of jeans in, keep the jeans out. Don't wear jeans, wear shorts, do whatever you want. But yeah, classic. Um, and Chuck Taylors, you get them in any sort of colour, but the white are the best ones, I think. And also, I have actually washed these a few times, and they've washed quite well. So there we go. That is my how to pack for a mini break slash dirty weekend, somewhere that isn't home. Um, all in my case. Now I've made quite a mess of this bedroom, I'm going to have to scoop it all up. And then I'm going to go out, maybe have a little wine with Hayley, have a catch up because we've not seen each other in a while. Um, and you'll also be able to check out my Paris vlog video to see actually what happened after this. But there we go guys, that was my absolute ramble fest of stuff in my case. Um, I have put links, as I say, to everything in the description below, and I've also done a blog article on this, so if you want to read a bit more about the products, then you can hop on there. It's on my blog, theutterguttergot.com. 
Com. But for now guys, Paris is absolutely calling me out that window. I probably used the door, not the window this time. But please do like it, hate it, just rate it please. Make sure you click that subscribe button up there or down there to see all my videos as soon as they go live. And then jump on over onto my channel to see my hair how to's, my grooming and views, my style hauls, tips and bits. But for now, from me, from Paris, Abienzo. Welcome to my G Easy Inspired Hairstyle How To. It is this one on my head right now. Loads of you guys have been asking for a video. Now, this one is well overdue. It is a video that you guys have been asking for quite a long time. I did do a video on the quick. Hayley doesn't want to be in the video, so I've caught her right. She's moving her hair straight there. <laughs> 